TensorFlow Timmy is hunched over his laptop, face glowing from the screen. His breathing is heavy, palms are sweaty, sweat drips down his forehead. He frantically switches between tabs. Suddenly the door bursts open. What the hell are you doing, Timmy? Timmy jumps, slamming his laptop shut. He's just been caught doing something unspeakable. But Peter, I wasn't I, I wasn't doing anything, I swear. Oh really? Then why are you sweaty? Why did you alt tab so fast? Huh? Huh? It's nothing, man. Just drop it. Peter storms over grabs the laptop and opens it oh my god timmy this is worse than i thought w what timmy we've talked about this you're not supposed to watch roadmap videos all day you're supposed to actually code my name's dev and when i graduated from georgia tech i landed multiple new grad offers at top companies like amazon and if that skit felt a little too relatable you're not alone we all want to build ai projects we know it's good for us but when it's actually time to sit down and code boom suddenly we're scrolling watching another best ai projects to build in 2025 video or just lying to ourselves saying we'll start tomorrow but here's the thing you're not lazy the reason you're procrastinating has nothing to do with discipline or motivation it's deeper than that and today i'm going to break down exactly why you keep putting off ai projects and more importantly how to fix it First, let's be brutally honest. You don't actually believe that working on AI projects is going to help you. Like, deep down, you don't think it's going to make a difference in how many interviews you get. You probably think the best way to get hired is just apply, grind leak code, and hope for the best. And don't get me wrong, leak code is important. But here's the reality. A strong portfolio isn't optional it's a requirement let's say two people apply for the same ai job candidate one has a solid resume did lead code and apply to over a hundred positions candidate two has the same resume and lead code skills but also has a website showcasing three ai projects all linked to a github repo and even a short video demoing all three of the projects if you're a recruiter which one are you picking the answer is obvious because at the end of the day companies care if you can actually build stuff and the only way they know this is if you show them. So if you've been avoiding AI projects because you think they don't matter, think again. Because while you're hesitating and overthinking, someone else is out there building a portfolio right now. Now here's why building an AI portfolio is so damn hard. Nobody is forcing you to do it. When you're in school, you have assignments deadlines. Professors who will fail you if you don't turn in the work. When you're grinding lead code, there's a clear goal. Solve the problem, get the green check mark, and move on. But when it comes to building a portfolio, there's no teacher, no boss, no deadline. No one's going to email you and say, hey man, it's been two weeks. Where's the fine tuning project? It's completely up to you. And that's what makes it so hard. Because when something seems optional, most people won't do it. But that's also why the rewards are so damn high. Because guess what? Most people don't have a portfolio. Portfolio. They tell themselves they'll build one someday, but never do. And that's why if you actually take action, you will stand out. So yeah, nobody's making you do this, but that's the whole point. Now let's talk about the biggest lie stopping you from building AI projects. I'll start once I feel ready. Sound familiar? I just need to review neural networks one more time. Let me finish this tutorial first. I'll start once I really understand transformers. This mindset is a trap because here's the truth. You'll never feel ready. The people actually building AI projects right now didn't wait until they felt ready. They just started. And guess what? You can learn the fundamentals by building projects. You don't need to to memorize every math equation before you touch PyTorch. You don't need to master every aspect of deep learning before you fine tune a model. You learn by doing. And here's what most people don't realize. Real engineers Google stuff all the time, even use ChatGPT. You think the guy who built that insane AI demo you saw built it all from memory? Hell no. He was Googling how to reshape tensors in PyTorch just like the rest of us. So stop waiting for some magical moment where everything clicks because AI isn't waiting and companies aren't waiting either. So if you've been putting off AI projects, it's time to make a choice. Don't keep waiting and watching more roadmap videos. And don't keep telling yourself someday you have to take action. Here's my challenge to you. Start your first project today. Doesn't matter how small it is, just build something. Don't let another week go by without building because the people who build are the people who win.